Here's the last knife I just finished here. <clears throat> this is 1095 high carbon steel and measures just about 10 inches. And this handle material here is stabilized redwood. I don't know what to call it. It's It's got some crazy grain in it. I guess it's burl. Um, probably would glow a little bit better outside, but I was just doing the final polish on it here. Chatoyance on that is really deep. This was cut from a, an ancient redwood tree over on the coast about 20 years ago. Uh, this here was a big old chunk of brass that I polished up after I pounded it on here and JB welded it on here. This is the tang that I peened over. Uh, this is a big fat chunk of W2 that I had and uh, some brass and some some other thin steel there. Uh, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Polished out to, uh, I wouldn't call it polished, but sanded to 1200 right now. Might go a little bit higher. It does have a selective heat treatment on it. Um, I probably won't etch it. It's just too much of a pain in the butt on this 1095. The clip is not sharpened. It does have a really, really uh, tight grain uh, on this this steel that I forged out winter before last. Pretty happy with it. Anyhow, finished product here. I'll probably continue it a little bit more. Anyhow, I'll happy with the way it turned out. 10 inch zombie slayer. This wood here was from, uh, I sent it down to K&G down in Arizona and they stabilized it. Along with this other wood over here is going to be some of my next knife handles. Some maple and stuff. This here is my little working bench. Anyhow, thanks for watching.